All right, here's the moment of truth. It's back together. It's a little dusty. Let's go ahead and uh, see if it'll come on. It's your boy here, one 2 ls back for another video. I know it's been a while since I made a video, and here's part of the reason why. Right there, we got a 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro. I bought it going on a year ago, and uh, now it's, uh, since I sold my last laptop, this is my main editing machine, and see what we got going on here. Basically, I'm having a GPU problem. At least I think it's a GPU problem. It's a thing that you can do called reballing or reflowing. I don't know what the technical term is. So reflow sounds a lot better than reballing. Pause. So that's what I'm gonna call it. To do this, you need some tools to open up a MacBook. I got a Husky screwdriver set. I got that from Home Depot. The reason I got it is because it has some star bits on there. And you need those to get inside of these things. You need a little bit of thermal paste. I got a tube right there paid like two bucks right there see how the thing just started over and it's not gonna start and then last but not least you need a heat gun got a heat gun right there I brought that from my dad and had that for about six months so let's go ahead and get it popping first thing we're gonna do is gonna hold that button we're gonna power it down boom it's been powered down I'm gonna go ahead and close it and we're gonna Carefully flip that thing over. It's been flipped over. Now we're gonna get the proper tool to fit these little screws. And then, all right, I took all the screws out of the back thing. You notice that these three screws right here are longer than these screws. These three longer screws go in this three back holes and then the rest of the smaller screws go around there. I just figured I'd let you guys know that. And then now I can pull off the back cover. I don't know, maybe something on there. Let me see one second. Back cover's off. Now you gotta take the board out. First you start by taking these power connectors off and any connectors that are connected to the board that might need to be removed. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. connector disconnected we have the fans disconnected as well as that fan and we have a couple other miscellaneous connectors right there and then you push these two down these two things right down to here to pop the memory out see if I can do it one hand beautiful beautiful that's one chip of memory put that over here to the side with the screws and I uh, do the same thing see if I can do it one hand memories out things are connected now it's next time to take out all these screws we have a couple star screws and uh, I'll get you back to you when I'm done with that all right I got the board out the computer now what you want to do is you want to put it on a surface it's not too hard you want to flip it over like that and then what you have here is 
a few screws there, there, and there. You want to take these out, and that's going to review the GPUs. And then I'm going to take these screws off, and I'll get back to you. Got all the screws out. Now, remove this. Oh, look at that. That could explain why my computer ain't working. It's a bug inside of there. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to take some alcohol and I'm going to dab a little bit on there and I'm going to clean off these two surfaces. Our rubbing compounds cleaned off of there. The AMD chip is nice and clean. The one above it is nice and clean, but this is the one that we're gonna be hitting with the trusty dusty heat gun. So what I'm gonna do is set my alarm for five minutes and I'm gonna turn it on low and I'm gonna hover it over the, the thing and we'll see if that works. Just got done hitting the GPU with the with the heat gun for about five minutes. That shit got hot as hell. Look how uh, it put a hole in this towel right here that I did it on. Oh, this shit is hot still. I guess I'm gonna put some uh, some thermal paste on here and put it back together. Probably let it cool off for about three four minutes. Get back with you when I'm done. Now. Put some, put a, hit it with a little bit of thermal paste. All right, we got the board back in. Got the power connected back. Battery is back on there. This little bracket, that was, that was a bitch to get off. It was actually easier to get back on. And what I'm going to do before I put this back cover back on is... I don't know, let's, let's go ahead and put it back on right now. Remember, these long screws go in the first three holes. All right, here's the moment of truth. It's back together. It's a little dusty. Let's go ahead and, uh, See if it'll come on. I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully it works.
look like it's fixed. That's how you fix a 2011 15-inch MacBook Pro. Only took me three hours. Definitely, definitely worth it. If you like this video, make sure you like this video. If you love this video, make sure you subscribe. It's your boy L, one eye, two L's, and I'm out. Different video I'm doing today. I guess it's like more of a tech video slash troubleshooting video. I bought this MacBook right here. For those who don't know, I buy and sell MacBooks. That's kind of been like my job slash side hustle. 